Uh, the worst part is looking out the back door. Like you look out the back door, you got uh, one string of houses there, and the siding is melted down. And uh, you look beyond that, and there's the graveyard. Like it's just like, like all those houses that burn, cars and trucks. We went to come in the, the entrance where we normally come in, and it's all fenced off. I said, oh geez, we'll go around the back. Maybe we can't get in. We weren't sure then, eh? So we came here and you seen the fence where them houses apparently blew up over there. And uh, started coming in and there was only a couple of cars on the street, probably only a few of us. I see more and more to their back. But uh, yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty weird, sad. Uh, but um, hey, everybody got out alive and I don't think they even lost a pet. Well, everything we're doing is boil. Like this morning we had pots on. But the first thing I did is put on a meal and boiled it up and got some smell of food in the house and kind of try to get normality back. Spaghetti and meat sauce, uh, made it just a quick one and uh, sat down. We had picked up bread and stuff and butter and so we sat down, had a, a great meal and put on the tube and started watching a few things and watching what's going on here and and finally we went and visited our, our friends up in Tower Road who have no water or anything yet to their trailers, that's that campground, and went and visited them. They were doing everything out of bottled water and uh, yeah, it was uh, good to kind of get back into the thing of visiting and so it's back to normal.